My fellow graduates, well, here we are, Bascom Hall, room 260. Or maybe in your case, your living room with your parents much closer than you ever expected them to be on this day. At the risk of sounding cliche, I do not think this is where any of us expected to be. Undergraduates are joined by masters and PhD candidates. We are together and apart with no Camp Randall fanfare, no beers to shotgun with your roommates before rushing off to greet your grandparents, no crowds to fight to get the best photos on Bascom Hill, no tears rushing down your face as you link arms with your fellow Badgers to sing varsity one last time as a student. Well, I'm sure there will still be tears, but perhaps all that we lost is a perfect reminder of all that we have to be grateful for and everything we have to be proud of because everything that has been taken away from us this year, and I know that we have lost a lot, cannot take away from the fact that we made it. We are graduating today. All of us survived trudging up Bascom with three layers of winter clothes on and 15 pounds of books in our backpacks on the brink of cardiac arrest. All of us survived a 24-hour period where all we consumed was black coffee. All of us survived BSing a 10-page research paper the day it was due. But all jokes aside, Badgers have overcome some incredible hurdles to make it here today. Some have felt unwelcome on a campus that struggles to support diversity. Some have battled mental health problems to the point of almost giving up. Some have navigated the unknown as first generation college students. College is not easy and our achievements that got us here today deserve the highest recognition and praise. We have broken down barriers together. We have cried together. We have fought for a better world we want to live in together. And yeah, today we do not get to turn our tassels together on the field in Camp Randall. As I stand here today, nearly alone in a sterilized room, I am filled with emotion. It is hard for me to remind myself to be proud of my accomplishments when all I want to do is cry. But as I look to the future, I know that there is one lesson I will take from this experience that gives me hope. This has shown me that you never know when something is going to be your last. Some of you may have heard of a little show called The Office, and I think Andy said it best with, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. I did not know when I was sitting in my last college lecture. I did not know when I left Memorial Library that it would be my last time blankly staring at my computer for four hours with my best friend by my side. I did not know that it was my last trek up Bascom as I desperately gasped for air. And I did not know when I was in my last moment on campus as a Badger with my fellow students. All of these moments are what make today so hard. But all of these moments are what made our time at the University of Wisconsin-Madison so phenomenal. They truly are the good old days. So next time I find myself in a little moment, like sharing a pitcher of beer on the terrace with my friends after the quarantine is lifted, or hugging my grandparents, or being crammed through the gates of Camp Randall to attend my first football game as an alumna, I'll know that those little moments are actually big moments. I will enjoy their magnitude as blessings that are not guaranteed. No pandemic can take away the pride you deserve to feel today. We are here. We are badgers. And we are graduating. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. <laughs>